A half billion Facebook users, they've been hacked and Facebook isn't taking the blame for it. A database containing the phone numbers of more than a half a billion Facebook users is being freely traded online and it looks like Facebook is trying to pass the blame. In a blog post titled The Facts on News Reports about Facebook data published earlier this week, the social media giant tried to silence the growing criticism for failing to protect user information that was shared for free in low-level hacking forums. Last weekend, including the cell phone number and possibly even more personal information of Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Yikes. I want to give uh, a fair side to Facebook here. They addressed uh, this so-called hack and appeared to at least sort of push blame away from themselves, saying this, quote, it is important to understand that malicious actors obtain this data not through hacking our systems, but by scraping it from our platform prior to September 2019. Um, Alexis, maybe for those of us who aren't so tech savvy here, what, what do they mean by scraping this information from the platform? And, and truly, how much fault does Facebook share in this event? Good morning, Emma. Great question. So scraping is when you actually take the information and the data when you're not allowed to do so. It's against their terms to do that, but you can actually go in and remove this data on your own. And you know, the whole situation is such that Facebook is saying that, it, you know, this goes, dates back all the way to January of 2019. We've taken care of it. We've already patched, you know, the vulnerabilities and the security issues that, that we had happened in terms of our platform. But when you think of that statement in and of itself, it kind of proves the fact that there were some security issues and that because these um, nefarious characters were able to scrape or to pull this data out, there is quite a bit of the blame on Facebook. But that being said, as a, you know, a positive person looking out for all of us, I would say from a fraud prevention standpoint, we need to listen to what they are saying. And what they are saying is, okay, we would like you users to make sure that you are masters of your privacy settings. We want you to go into your privacy settings and set them the way you want them so you're protecting yourself from these kind of corporate leaks and breaches. Yeah, obviously some good advice. You want to check all of your settings. But, you know, even if Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook CEO, uh, you know, became victim to, to the situation here, it could be more challenging for people who, again, aren't maybe used to using and dealing with all these uh, specific settings on their Facebook page. So, first of all, I mean, how could people find out if perhaps their own information was leaked? And then, as you say, how could they resolve that issue or prevent it from happening in the future? So that's a great question. Interestingly enough, Facebook is not doing a great deal to help you figure out if you if your information has been leaked. And a couple of websites have popped up to help with that, but there's one particular one that's called Have I Been Pawned? And that's P W N E D. Have I Been Pawned? And it's a little bit more trustworthy because it's been around for a long time and it's been used quite a bit. You can go in there and see if you've uh, been a victim of this fraud.